Okay guys, I'm back in Garena Speed Drifters. In this video, I'm going to review Speed Pass 20, Season 23, the new A car, Luan Feather, this one. So Luan Feather in QQ, it is not a Speed Pass car. It is a gift pack diamond car. This is the first gift pack diamond car they brought as a speed pass. Eh? And this uh, this Luan Feather car is actually an item car. Eh? So I've already activated speed pass. I've full modded it already. So we'll take a look at Luan Feather. Luan Feather, it is an item car. It has strong turning and also strong in uh, speed. So it is a very fast a car and also uh, strong in turning. Eh? So it's characteristic, uh, strong turning basically And in item competition, that means this is for item mode Speed, power and duration of mini boost and landing boost eh? Air spray, floor spray, landing boost and flying boost Plus 18% This is the same ability as uh, Star Ocean Wing A bit similar when attacked by a missile, kupi or tornado, there is a 62% chance that the power of next mini boost will be plus 100%. That means the mini boost power plus 100% uh, for only the next mini boost. Eh? And then the duration of the next landing boost will be plus 1.7 seconds. When you get hit by a missile, a kupi or tornado, there is this chance that your next mini boost the power is increased plus 100 percent okay and the next landing boost means when you are flying when you're on the jumping area and you land okay that's your landing boost it will be 1.7 second longer so that boost when you land will last like two seconds or that. So it's a good for recovery like if you get hit by missile, kupi or tornado That landing back after getting hit will give you uh, like a 2 second mini boost So it's like a comeback after you're getting hit by those attacks lah, okay? So yeah, it's an item car So first, I'll mod it in speed mode This is the speed recommendation uh, left, left, left. Eh? All of them are left. But I need to switch this. Okay, yeah. So modding for speed mode is left, left, and left. So I'm gonna test the speed mode modding first. Okay, normal speed is 208.4. Double boost. 261.9 CWW 310.3 WCW 288.9 and WCW 315.7 Okay So That is the step for speed mode modding eh? Now we go for the item modding. So for the item modding is the same except for the second one supposed to be middle. Eh? So it's left, middle, left. So let's test this again. Normal speed this time is supposed to be lower. 200, oh no, 209. Okay, yeah, yeah. Item is supposed to be better. Normal speed is 209. Double boost is 260.6 CWW 309.5 WCW is 288.8 And WCW 314.6 Okay, for the item modding, everything is lower But the normal speed is higher Which is perfect for item mode Because item mode, most of the time, you are not using nitro so this is the perfect modding for item this is the first ever first ever speed pass item car even QQ don't have a speed pass item car so far this is the first ever that they brought a speed pass item car to GS and originally give back diamond eh? this is actually even better uh, in my opinion to star ocean wings star ocean wings is a workshop diamond car for item 
and it's like uh, not say the best. I think the best now is Kitty Reno for item. But yeah, Star Ocean Wings also have almost the same ability. Yeah, uh, strong turning, uh, mini boost, power, speed, plus oh, the, this one has time. Eh? That means the mini boost duration plus eighteen percent. But Luan Feather is oh wait, it's the same. <laughs> no, 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 it's the same thing. Uh, but it's not. Mini boost duration, it's landing boost and flying boost plus 18%. So it's a bit like, uh, let's say, Twin Aries and Star Hunter. Twin Aries, every mini boost uh, plus 0.12. Uh, Star Hunter is only landing boost and flying boost 0.12, right? If I'm not mistaken. So it's something like that. So here, Star Ocean wins, every mini boost duration is plus 18%. But Luan Feather is landing boost and flying boost plus 18%. The rest is the same, eh? Strong turning, speed plus 18%, power plus 18%. Is that one everything the same, eh? So it's a bit like Star Ocean Wings for that ability. Uh, but Star Ocean Wings has lower CW speed. Luan Feather has an extra item build, which gives you uh, stronger mini boost power when you get hit by missile, copy or tornado and also the next landing boost will be longer making it uh, a good comeback after you get hit will still uh, keep you on the road faster to catch up lah, okay? a bit, just to catch up a bit so yeah, that is one feather's characteristic so uh, let's uh, yeah, let's test this uh, in some item games just testing it solo won't help but yeah, maybe we'll play a solo game first. So I'll play, I'll play Luan Feather in CT11 just to test the speed mode. Eh? By the way, if uh, you are looking for this video for the QQ version, I have not reviewed this in QQ. Eh? This is actually my first time reviewing this car because I cannot get this car in gift pack diamond. <laughs> I have used a few gift pack uh, diamond tickets but I cannot get the trial car. So I never reviewed this before. This is my first review on Luan Feather. Just in case you, you guys are wondering where's the QQ version. <laughs> Alright, anyway. City 11 will test Luan Feather in City 11. Just to test how is it in speed mode. Eh? I got one zero two just now, the first step. Two zero two. Alright, not bad. Okay, just for that, I think uh, 
How do I say? Compare with Star Ocean Wings in speed mode. Star Ocean Wings, the mini boost duration is a bit longer. Eh? Because uh, it's it's uh, plus 18% for every mini boost. So in here, mini boost duration won't help because there's no jumping. It has to be jumping to get uh, extra duration. Eh? Here, no jumping if it feels that your mini boost is just short. Eh? But at least it's faster than Star Ocean Wings. For speed mode, I don't say recommended. Eh? It is really for item. So let's just go to item mode and play item. Uh, just let me know, I'm already legendary, 500 points. So most of these matches are legendary. Eh? So I'm playing team item, team item solo. Right now when you're at these points, uh, it's better to play team item if you want to match faster. That's all I say. I, I don't recommend play item because <laughs> I hate item mode. <laughs> but item mode is the only way to match uh, faster. Alright, I'm gonna not ban anything. Just I take any map will do. Music Factory. Okay. My teammate is also Speed Pass car and also Kitty Reno. So those are item cars. Opponents, Speed Pass car. I soul and Kitty Reno. <laughs> Alright, interesting. So keep in mind if I get hit by Kofi, Missile or Tornado. Eh? The characteristic will activate. Oh. I'm gonna keep this here for for the jumping part. I could have kept that, but never mind. Okay, got shield. Got this to that. So far, I'm not getting hit by any creepy missile or tornado. But I'm already in front. Pass is the back. Good nitro? Yes. Okay. Okay. It activates even when uh when I use shield, eh? That was a tornado. I use shield and it still activates. So it's not when you get hit. Even when you protect yourself, it still activates. Oh! What timing? Oh no, I can just go. Um. I don't know. Just in case. Go, go, finish. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Just now it activate once eh, but uh didn't really see what it does because uh I didn't really get hit. <laughs> I might we try again. Oh all of us are dragon tutor. No wonder. Okay. Nice first game. Kurja Bagus. Second game. Dragon Bay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, ah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't hit the enemy in the UFO. Okay, I'm Okay, we activate. 
Okay, it did. Okay, I'm using the boost. Okay. The boost lasts a bit longer. Okay, that's that's what the boost does. It's a good comeback. Okay. Alright. Peace. Shit! No! I... <laughs> Damn it! Okay, this time you did see eh, uh, what happened just now. When I got hit by... Well, that was a Koopi, right? The characteristic activates. The next jump, and when I land, the mini boost lasts a bit longer. So the first boost when it activates, it was the mini boost power. And then the landing boost was longer. That's what the characteristic does, eh? So it kind of helps you when you get hit or maybe you, you got a shield already for that part. So for item players, lah, we'll definitely recommend getting this car. For speed player, you can guys skip, you guys can skip this car if you don't want it. <laughs> or let's say you don't have any item car at all. And maybe sometimes you play item mode. Yeah, you, you can get this car as a speed pass. Eh? This is the first speed pass item. So if you don't have any good item car, you can use this. Ah, I hate this map. <laughs> I think the team, uh, both teams are using the same cars, one of each. <laughs> two Don Sanville, two Kitty Reno, two Speed Pass. Oi. Ah, uh, okay, I got hit. Longer mini boost. Okay. Okay, that one didn't activate, eh? Because it's a chance activate. Alright. Ah. Uh. Okay, I got a hit. Longer mini boost. It's still going <laughs> for a while there. Nice! Yo, this is some sabotage! Ah. Yo, I don't know if we can win this. Why you don't use Nitro? Go, 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 go! Allah, we lost again. Ah, damn. <laughs> okay, Almost though. Okay, so I won't do a long review for this car because uh, it's an item car. So yeah, Luan Feather for speed players that don't play item. Of course, uh, I don't recommend getting this car. You don't really need unless you want to get at least uh, one item car if you don't have any good item car and for item players yeah you can get this item car if you play item most of the time uh, but uh, let me say about its value in QT Speed Mobile this car is a gift pack diamond okay so it's like 9000 diamonds to get this in QQ but this car is not the top item car like I said it can be better than Star Ocean Wings by ranking but it's not the top item car for item. I, in my opinion, I think the Kitty Reno might be the, the moment. I'm not sure there's any. Oh wait, there's the the Frost Tiger. Eh? Yeah, Frost Tiger and the Kitty Reno. It's between that two lah. That is the top 
this car I think is just right above Star Ocean Wings or yeah about the same level with Star Ocean Wings uh. so by value uh, it's worth getting okay but if you like want the best A car for item it's better to get uh, TT Reno or uh, Frosty Tiger but those are uh, workshop uh, workshop cars and eh? workshop diamond so if you don't have any of these you can get this car instead this is a speed pass car so it's much cheaper than getting those two item cars eh? of course that's not the top cars the really top cars for item are the T cars <laughs> but that T cars are more expensive so yeah this is a cheaper uh, item car if you can't afford to get Kitty Reno or maybe Frost Tiger Frost Tiger already gone anyway <laughs> Yeah, so worth getting for those who don't have a good item car, okay? For item mode. This car is item this car is for item mode anyway. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this speed pass review. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.